Okay. First of all, I just want to say thank you, God. Uh, I want to say thank you, God, for being able to see things where they are and see this low life where they are. And I'm saying that not just to be insultive, but because their job is to po supposed to, to, to make me block our reality. You know, in person, and especially, I know my brain is no longer mine. So I've accepted that um, they, they can do so much to me. And last night being out, I was being manipulated. They really have been creating a personality where they can box in these ways of thinking. But you have people all around you that are supposed to make you accept these manipulations. It's, it's manipulation that's non-stop. Um, and it's conditioned in your brain, meaning that they want you to really identify with that. So what they do is... Once you they make you experience something, they vilify you for what they made you experience. So this is a cognitive warfare in a sense that we're a test subject. They're using this very sophisticated technology that can manipulate your brain in different disgusting ways. And they find ways and tweak things around to have you identify, sorry, to, to have you experience uh, thoughts that are disturbing. It's disturbing. You just got to be strong, really. Like... It's so hard to endure what you, what, you, what you experience and not lose your mind, really. Uh, and the truth is, many of us target individual, unfortunately, either killed herself or done some other things that caused death. For example, five or six months ago, there was a mass shooting that killed 18 people. I bring that up all the time because this is the reality of what happens. To us, a mass shooting where a target individual lost his mind to the point where he killed 18 people. This is going to happen again, for sure. Matter of fact, I myself, maybe we would not have killed 18 people, but the, I, was, I got to the point where I was very aggressive because of understanding what was happening in the sense that these people not only are making me experience this nastiness, but on top of that, they're wanting me to identify with the things that they are forcing my brain to experience via this technology. You know how disgusting it is when you know that your brain at this point is like a guinea pig today. They can play with your brain and they do things that are the most disturbing, the most disgusting to you. They are making you think about kids in nasty, disturbing sexual ways. And then try to verify you for that. The pedophilia type of torture is really a thing for them. It is a thing that they do systematically. And every time I bring that up, because they want you to identify, it, it's like, oh, he's going to knock you out, he's going to kill you, he's going to stab you out. They, not only they make you experience this disgusting pedophilia type of, uh, of experience that you experience, but to make you identify with it, they tell you all these horrible things that they're planning to do on you, to you. And what and for me is done. It's like I'm, I'm so va validated. It's just ridiculously understanding that this it's over. There's no way you can make me accept this now. Because of that, I think, especially w with my targeting, these perps wanted to still maintain this like facade of this normalizing or good doers or people who are like just like normal. But because the validation has been so obvious that manipulation are in a pedophilia type of tormenting ways is real. That they are planning on torturing me in ways 